some of this. What's up, Court? Hey, what's the summer been like for you? It's been challenging, but it's also been awesome just to be back. Last year, I didn't get to compete, um, so this year has been um, amazing just to wear the red, white, and blue and get back with the girls and travel. What are you most excited about for this team? What are you looking forward to and what do you hope um, happens this fall? Yeah, I think VNL was amazing to get gold in its inaugural tournament. And I'm so excited to see how we are at World Champs. I just had this thought today going into practice. I was like, when we're at World Champs, we need to show up every single day and just crush teams. Like not, not work on finding our rhythm, work on finding who we are, how we play next to each other, but show up and crush teams. And that's what I want to do. And yes. so that's what I'm focused on and helping this team be there. Have. Obviously, you're striving to be the best in the world at what you do, um, but you've started a travel blog and a food blog, and we're all jealous of all the fun adventures you take. So, how how has that been an outlet for you, and how does it help you while you're competing? We're given such an amazing opportunity to go overseas and to play in different cultures, to meet different people, to try different foods, and it's like. I kind of started it because I went on a couple trips when I was playing in Italy and friends would just ask me, hey, can I have those recommendations? Can you write me an itinerary? And I was like, yeah, totally. And then I just started making more and more itineraries for friends. I was like, I'm just gonna put this into a website. Young adult looking at your blog, like what do you hope they get out of it? I just hope they can see the most important thing to me is I'm a human. I have a family, I have a fiance I love. I love to travel, I have other passions. Yeah. And that's so important to like who we are, you know, retirement, it's not coming, but it's coming. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> having this outlet for me has just been like the best thing, yeah. yeah. Obviously committing to another four years, there's a lot that goes into that. And maybe beyond, I remember one time you saying you want to play forever. Like yeah. for you, <laughs> where's, what's the meaning behind striving to be your best in, in, in this difficult environment? I think this environment pushes us to our extreme. Um, it pushes us to, to tears, to pain, to suffering for one moment of glory, to share in something so difficult and know that the person next to you is going through it. And I have their back, they have mine, and we're suffering, but it's all because we just want to be together and we just want to grind it out and we want to see how tough we really are. And so for me, I, that's why I love playing. That's why I would come back a thousand times if I could, yeah. but it's a little painful. Yeah, so, so. I know, right? When you think about being in the locker room in Tokyo and being finished with the tournament, putting on your sweats for the last time, what do you want to feel like? I want to feel like a champion. I want to be wearing gold in that moment, yeah. for sure. Mic drop. Yeah. <laughs>